Uh, this is a press conference by the 10th River State House of Assembly. Um, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you all for finding time for this press conference, which is intended to address some issues uh, that have arisen in the last few months, so we can also uh, set the record straight where necessary. We begin by announcing to you that sponsored attacks on the House of Assembly of River State has failed woefully. Enemies of the people and those who cannot withstand the principles of the rule of law, as well as checks and balances in our nascent democracy in their frustration, started by burning and later demolition of the hollow chamber. Their plan is to eliminate the legislature that is pushing for independence granted her by the Constitution since they cannot exercise undue control over her. We survived these attacks. Their new strategy is to use another arm of government, lobbies, attack dogs, the mainstream and social media to bring the House to disrepute and consummate the agenda. In this regard, various individuals, groups, uh, media mercenaries have been recruited to actualize their objectives. The latest of the new groups recruited against the 10th Assembly is the former River State PDP Presidential Campaign Council. In a press conference on the 26th of March, 2024, signed by Dr. Abiy Sekibo, this group inferred that the House is an illegal and non-constitutional assembly. Others in this group are the likes of Right Honorable Osen Opera, uh, Senator Lee Meba, and Prince Uche Secondus. Honorable Tamono Sisi Gogo Jaja, Saselesi Nomeha, amongst others, among these desperate politicians who left their houses and gathered under a canopy with His Excellency Atiku Abubakar and His Excellency Ifan Yokowa's pictures on a banner behind them professing their new support for Mr. President and the River State Governor. We all recall that on this very day, they had this banner right behind them, advertising the former PDP presidential candidate and uh, his uh, then running mate, Senator Okowa, while at the same time saying that uh, they were now fully in support of uh, Mr. President's uh, office. On the other hand, they derided the 10th Assembly, who they are happy with for joining the All Progressive Congress, APC, which incidentally is the President's political party. Worse still, they lied against and attacked the FCT minister who worked tirelessly for the victory of the President and the Governor in River State. In other words, they are against those who defeated them and put them to shame by ensuring the victory of the president and the governor in the state. But they now subscribe to the president and governor. What a weak strategy from a group who think they are smart. These individuals, all through the electionary campaigns, said a lot. But if I take our minds back to before the 2023 presidential elections. We will recall that these individuals were always with the, the current minister when he was governor. They followed him to everywhere, participated in the government, benefited immensely. But at a time when the party chose the current governor as the candidate to fly the flag, they ran away. Suddenly they have arrived. They now say the FCT minister didn't perform while he was uh, governor, and they say all kinds of unpredictable things against the FCT minister. But what is important is that here in the 10th Assembly, we know what the truth is, and it's important that we address the media about some of the things that uh, we know. So in other words, they are against those who defeated them and put them to shame by ensuring the victory of the president in the state. However, the good people of River State know who they truly are. Our constituents will not forget in a hurry how they fought against the candidature of the current governor and Mr. President during the elections. We are not surprised that they are no more seeing all the unprintable things against the president and the governor because this is who they are. They now want to advise the president and use unprintable words against the former governor of River State. His Excellency is the one, Nyeson Wike, commander of the Order of the Niger Grand Service of River State.